Okay, so I'm going to show you here how to work your hip external rotators um, and really open up your back hip capsule. So we want to make sure both legs are lined up at a 90 degree. My front femur is coming straight out. Um, my lower leg is, I'm making a 90 degree angle here. If that's uncomfortable, bring your heel in uh, for whatever reason, or you can elevate this knee by putting a little block action there. Now, we're gonna be focused really on the back leg for this one. So make sure this um, femur is parallel to your front shin, and then this back leg's making a 90 degree angle as well. Now from here, I wanna get a stretch going on on my inner thigh. So how I'm gonna get that stretch is I'm gonna lean into it a little bit more, leaning slightly to the right. All right, if you really need to get into it more, twist and lean. If you need to get out of it, if it feels way too tight, all right, you can come over onto your side and unrotate, rotating away from that leg that we're working. For me, I feel a stretch kind of right in a normal, uh, like a tall resting position. So I'm holding this stretch here for 30 seconds to two minutes. I'm gonna go a little faster today just for the sake of the demo. But when you do this on your own, hold it for only you know, 30 seconds to two minutes depending on how much time you have. Or if it's you know, your first time, you may not wanna hold it for two minutes, that may be really uncomfortable. Now from here, I'm gonna change my intention from a passive stretch into actually activating muscles. So I'm gonna try and push this back ankle down into the ground. I'm gonna push it down into the ground and I'm gonna try and lift this knee up. So I'm pushing this down, lifting this knee up. Right, this is really firing up our external rotators. You're gonna feel this deep in your hip. So starting at 10% effort, I'm gonna increase by 20% every five seconds. So now I'm going to 30%, taking a deep inhale, shoving my oxygen into my diaphragm. And now I'm going 50%, shallow breaths from here on out, 70%. And now max effort, I'm pushing that ankle down. Now I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna need a good position with my hands, one on the outside of my leg, one on the inside. And now I'm gonna try without moving too far to the left, I'm gonna try and lift this leg up. Holy crap, we're going to cramp city here. So I'm trying really hard not to lean forward or to the side. I'm trying to maintain my posture that I was doing the stretch with. And this sucks. Ugh, three, and you're holding that for 15 seconds. Two, one, rest. Oh. So what we're doing there is helping tell your brain that you need that range of motion. And that brain will then go and loosen up that joint for you, make it feel less tight, maybe reduce pain sensations you're experiencing. All right, and increasing um, some engagement during that range of motion. Well, why do you need this range of motion? Well, this is gonna really help you with your squats, any lunges, hip bridges. If you struggle with tight hips in general, this is gonna be something that you should be doing every single day, every single day. So, there you go. Have fun with that one. Your hips might be a little sore afterwards, but I promise down the road they'll feel better.